I'm Sam with JBugs.com. We finally have the body pulled off our chassis of our 1971 Super Beetle. And because the front suspension of the Super Beetle ties to the body, once it's gone, there's nothing to hold the front wheels in place. We rigged up a temporary framework to allow us to roll the chassis around without the body for a few days. But since we'll be putting the body on and pulling it off numerous times while doing rust repairs, we want to get the, all the front suspension out of the way. We do still want to be able to roll the pan around. So we welded up some legs to the front of the tow bar mount that was on our car, and we bolted on some casters. We bolt the mount back to the chassis and remove the front wheels. The left and right tie rod end nuts are loosened. Then we use a jack to lift the spindle up using the tie rod end as the jack point. Hitting the spindle a few times with the sledgehammer pops the tie rod free so we can remove it from the spindle. The same process is done on the opposite side, and with both ends free, the tie rod assembly can be set aside. We disconnect our right brake line, which is only loosely reattached to keep the lines clean, and jack up the front end so we can remove the lower ball joint nut. The jack is moved to the bottom of the ball joint and jacked up. Then we use a sledgehammer again to hit the control arm to pop the ball joint loose. Once it's free, we lower the jack, and remove the strut and spindle assembly from our metal framework and set it aside. The same process is done on the left side, and once both strut assemblies are removed, we remove the temporary framework and continue the teardown by removing the cotter pin at the left end of the sway bar where it attaches to the control arm. The nut is removed so the outer washer can be pulled off. Then it's threaded back in place and tapped to break the control arm loose. The inner eccentric bolt for the control arm is removed. The control arm is tapped free from the chassis and removed from the sway bar. The process is the same for the right side. Once both control arms are removed, the front end is jacked up so we can pull off the tow bar mount temporarily and remove the sway bar. The left and right sway bar brackets are removed from the chassis so the sway bar can be dropped down and the brackets are bolted back into the chassis for safekeeping. While we're here, we remove the two remaining bolts for the front chassis crumple guard from the bottom side where it attaches to the front of the tunnel. The guard is removed and the tow bar mount is bolted back to the chassis, now with loose nuts to hold the bolts in place. We can now lower the chassis back down to the ground and get to work tearing down the pan a bit more before we move the pan and body over to a shop where we can begin cutting and welding. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the like button below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And when you need parts for your vintage VW, head over to jbugs.com.